Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Another episode of Axiom Verge coming at ya. Uh, let's see, quick quick catch up with the storyline. We just saw a copy of ourselves run in this direction. We are in Ukina. Might I, I pronounce that right? Ukin Na. Um Now this has a yellow circle. This has a purple circle. Uh, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. I'm here. I'm gonna go out and stab. Purple means map completion. Yellow means I don't. I don't know. Uh, let's go this way maybe. Oh, that's cheap. I hate cheap shots like that. There I am again! What? Hey you, stop! He was right there. Uh-oh. How can I tell you something strange? <laughs> you mean that totally unironically, am I right? No reply. So... Here's the thing about being crazy, is you don't know you're crazy, right? Like, I'm the only sane when everyone else is crazy. Like, you don't know you're going insane when you're going insane. So what else looks weird? I don't know. Should I tell you the color of the wall looks weird and it doesn't match the floor? I... Okay, something's weird. The wall looks like it's sweating. Ugh. Oh, it's pretty hot in this place. Okay, it looks like that just makes you easier to kill. Is this a thing? Oh. This is a thing. Oh, I can't... I can't drone. Okay, yeah, there's more to this than meets the eye, but I can't do anything about it. I guess I should just keep going? This looks really weird. Okay, I, I should just keep going, I guess. I can't do a drone thing, and the wall is clearly sweating. You take four shots with the Kilver, that's a bit much. Ah, Else Nova, some, something's wrong. I don't feel well. Yeah, thanks, Athetos. I mean, Else Nova. Sorry. I, I think I'll just shut up and keep moving. Yeah, those are easy enough to fight. Yeah. They're easy enough to kite around. The walls have earrings that are swaying to the beat. Not creepy at all. This isn't some Castlevania level sh. Oh, sorry. Are you Ophelia? If there isn't, how did you even know what I was talking about? Because you're a hallucination, right? That pathogen's making me see things. Crap. I better get moving. These look like Saw. The character from Saw. I don't know what his name is, I never saw the movies. Whoa, 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 okay. Are you corruptible? 
Not really. Okay. Ow. Oh, it didn't hurt that bad. What the hell? Well, at least they're easy to kill. Is that a ghost? What is that? What is th <laughs> Wah! I'm hitting all the buttons, okay. Do not get caught by those things, okay? Or these things, I'm sure. Everything is trying to kill me. The walls have arms. The hills have eyes. Everything's trippy. These things hurt? Yes, they do. And they're immutable. Awesome. I would like to save if I can, so I'm gonna go this way if there's a save. Oh, thank goodness. Cool. We are well past any sort of point of return. Oh, I still can't drone, right? Hang on. That looked weird to the right. Is that a wall, or what is this? It is a wall, okay. No idea. Crap, I'm trapped. What? Why do I have the voice like a... Else Nova, that man, from before, he's here. Uh... Wait, 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 I'm no demon. A am I? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm the... I'm the creature. I don't have a health bar? Should I kill him? Am I not supposed to kill him? I don't... Heck, I don't know. That health bar in the upper left isn't changing colors. I'm trying to maximize how much damage. Gah! What the hell is happening? Ugh. Where am I? Everything hurts. How bad is it? I remember now. Well, I'd assume this was all connected to the lab explosion. In fact, there was just an unrelated accident. A frozen pressure valve, of all things. Boom. How could I have forgotten? I'd survived the blast and awoken, and for months was locked in darkness. I was broken. Not just blind, but crippled. But as I lay there helpless thinking, I had an epiphany. An idea that would become a scientific breakthrough. 
I worked with Dr. Hammond, who had recovered completely. Together we published a new theory of everything. It was a rewriting of physics. The media got wind and loved it. But the physics community decried it as pseudoscience. I was blacklisted and given a nickname. Athetos. Without place. That's where the memories end. Over a year of my life, completely forgotten. And somehow I'm him, Athetos. Else Nova knows this, but she thinks that I don't. I think in the background, we're actually seeing the game of life. If you're not familiar with it, it's a good read. Good theory, good, good everything. It's a game, actually. So I'm still here? Yeah, alright. Ophelia. Why exactly would you do that? So what makes Athetos and I pattern minds? Like something we were born with or something that happened? I'm pretty normal. I'm fairly confident there's no secret magic going on in my DNA or anything. Are you sure you're not leaving something out? And then... Okay. Looks like I'm off to see the wizard, then. So... The, the, the thought pattern I have in my head is still a valid one. That this could still all be Trace's mind. This could all still be part of a crazy hallucination. Or I'm truly in a place of weird wonderment. Thanks for your help, little guy. Oh, cool. Save point. Thank goodness. I was like, I don't have any idea where the heck we were. So, Athetos is another legitimate person, though maybe me, based on what was just discussed. In this place. Oh, nice. A little health boost? Awesome. So, Athetos is me who is a different version of me, or I no idea where any of this is going, really. Then that hurt? Oh. Yeah, those do hurt for some reason. Didn't think I'd have to fight the local flora, just the local fauna.
bunch of crap I can't read. Cool. Um, so the nice thing about like a game like this that's well designed is it's not telling me the answer. I have to kind of figure it out, at least so far. So could I really be on this planet doing these things, trying to defend these creatures, bring them back online and fight, or the Rasulki, that's what they're called, and try to beat back the Breach? Yeah, that could be happening. I'm kind of enjoying the idea I have in my mind that Trace is just absolutely insane. Okay, it does, these do hurt, just very, very small amounts of health. So the only thing I can really do is explore and find more clues. I'm hoping we could find a translator or whatever soonish. That would be neat. Uh. Okay, missing some sort of flight or something, who knows. What in the hell is that? Nope. Overshot that like a crazy man. Okay. I don't think it's designed to be ridden. Can't address disrupt it. This is a weird room. There's a down and there's an up. Any anything? Like it looks like I can phase down if I could phase down. And phase to the right? Nope, okay. Well, I gave it a try. I'm pretty happy with that result. Wait. Wait, this this room I was just in is where I fought. It's completely different now. Was that the thing that I turned into? Because this was a red room proven by this very red door. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> the map is starting to mess with me now, because I'm very confident that's where we were moments ago, fought and fell. And now Ophelia picked us up and is like, hey, what's up? Okay, there's no other real paths I can take. I need to go all the way down. Yeah, there's nowhere really else for me to go. So there's an elevator. Yeah, these rooms were all jacked. And now that I'm not losing my McNuggets over it... Oh, okay! okay. <laughs> you win again, game. You win again. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, try the same gimmick a couple of times. Yeah, this is a lot less walls are melting kind of a situation, which I do appreciate. There's no arms on the wall. There's no head shooting lasers at me. These things are real, though. Incredibly real. How in the heck would I get up there? I don't think I have the means to get up there yet. Oh, that was just the way up. Huh. Oh no, now it's a different it's a different path entirely. Huh. <laughs> Ah, nothing like a game that changes its map dynamic to make you question if you yourself are sane. Gotcha, jerk. Yeah, all these little frosted panels they look like now are where the heads were at a minute ago. Thank you. 
Okay, so what's this all about? Aw, oh, man. That's cheap. I can't get at that. Okay. Ow. I timed that poorly. Another lab coat? What's this? Double tap to teleport in any direction. Whoa! Okay. Johnny like. Johnny like a lot. Can I do this while I'm floating? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, I can't use it to gain... I can't use it to gain up momentum. It phases out... The, the read... The, the cooldown timer is way too long. Because I was just tapping up on my D-pad like an absolute banshee, and it doesn't work. But that is cool. Okay, that's a good distance. Is that three squares? Two, three squares? Something like that, yeah. So now... Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I'll take the hits, that's fine. I have more than enough hit points now, it's not that big of a deal. You guys drop more than enough life, so... Okay, yep. That changes a few things. So I don't have flight, but I do have better ways to maneuver, which is cool. The only items I think I'm real Okay, so... What's this, then? Am I gonna get another... No, health. So I guess I can only get one health node out of these dudes. So this is another example why using a joystick is awful. With a game like this, I need left, right, precision. Precision? Whatever. The Breach. Our best conjecture thus far is that it is a forced relinking of the lattices underlying adjacent universes. The Breach Attractor then has some capacity to shift the points at which the lattices link. The region beyond the Breach remains intact. As when the breach recedes, the atmosphere and surrounding ocean don't encounter a vacuum in its absence. Though, there is a strong disturbance in the currents once the two sides meet again. Outside of, the, of a breach elevator, passing through the breach can be fatal. The Sudrans use this as a makeshift shield to keep out intruders, or, as in our case, to keep something else trapped in. Based on our writings, it seems that the Sudrans have long ago lost a scientific understanding of what the Breach truly is, perceiving it as an intense meteorological phenomenon, rather than a divider between worlds. A7 hypothesized that the Breach itself is invincible, oh, invisible, and that the effect we see in the sky is, in fact, a protective field of microscopic elements covering the frayed ends. Okay. I have another theory here. A7 is Athetos 7. So we have a transcript here. A9, A3. I wonder if these are all iterations. So I think Else Nova told us that Athetos made these creatures. I think A3, A9 are all bosses we fought. Yeah, I am Athetos. But you just said you're Talal. How can you be Athetos if you are Talal? I am Talal. Who do you think I am? Athetos. Why did you attack me? Do you remember attacking me? Talal attacked Demon. I... If I had to throw out more whatever at anything, I think each of these are some revision of Athetos. Meaning trace. Oh! Yup, cool. Glad I tried that. Uh. 
How's this gonna work? Uh... I mean, that's cool. Because I saw the gap on the minimap, and I'm like, I wonder what if. And that worked out nicely. Um... You know, I haven't given the other weapons a try. Oh, why is that huge? Hold on, hit me. Oh, okay. Well, that worked. Power node fragment, yep. Why is this weapon stupidly big now? And can cleave. Okay. I I should experiment with more of my weapons real quick here. And while I'm doing that, I can go through the rest of my theory, I guess. What I honestly think is we're all Trace coming through something, some portal something, coming to this world. Oh, or maybe after we have the theory of everything figured out, we do some travel jiggery pokery. And then it's like, oh, we're going to go, we're going to go discover new worlds. We're going to find out new things. Stay tuned for another episode kind of a thing. He goes out, finds this world. Corrupts it, changes it, morphs it, whatever, and then has to defend it or something and start spinning up these creatures. Maybe? I don't know. Could be anything. That's, if I had to run and guess anything, I guess that's my running theory. So remember when I said here that we had a yellow dot in Ukenna? Now I don't. So, do I still have a purple dot here in Z? I do. I have no idea what the yellow dot's for. If I had to guess, I'm guessing those denote some sort of completion. Oh, so yeah, now this is trivial. Where does that lead to? It most likely leads to... Uh, crap, I forgot the name. Indy, of course, Indy. Okay, so now, no purple dot, which is fine. I'm still thinking the purple dot denotes map completion. So we're going to go to the right. Uh, oh, you know what? That's in Eden. I don't think I'll be able to find what I'm looking for. Yep, guess what? Guess what? So maybe it's just that one entrance into Eden. The mountains are bubbling. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we are in new territory. Let's go back to the Varange. Give me a little bit of range to my attacks. Okay, that alters my combat strategy a little bit, if I'm honest. Those creatures aren't difficult to fight, though they do hurt. Oh, man, the other thing is all the way on the other side of anything. It takes a little bit of quick controllering. Oh, you yield a lot of life, too. Fresh Breach, awesome. Wow, like, no loss to me whatsoever. That's interesting. 
I just wanted that one little piece of map cleared out. Okay, now what? I guess any real backtracking I was that I thought I had to do, we could do now. There's a bit of backtracking I want to do, because there's a couple of places where, like, yeah, this kind of phasing would have done some nice help. I think? Okay, that makes that easier. But I can't really- oh, yes, I can proceed this way. Uh, I need... Yep. I'll take all your health. Thank you. Okay, that's gonna be a little dicey. When you're adding new controls to, to a game, it's a little difficult because I'm already so used to moving a very certain way to coordinate my jumps, my attacks, my whatever, and now there's a new way for me to do this. That's going to get confusing on the quick, but that's okay. We'll live with it. There's just breach everywhere around here. Yeah, it takes a little getting used to, for sure. I don't know why I keep jumping. As if that's going to help. I always land into his attacks. Ah, holy crap! Okay, you've gotten more vicious. Just keep your gun. Keep your gun at the ready all the time. And this will go down to... Hopefully, Indy. Nice! Ugh, it's all guessing. I have no idea. Oh, is there something else this way? Huh. That's a weird thing for that to be revealed and not have a secret, but whatever. Okay, well, let's see what's over here now. A range booster, nice! Totally worth it. Totally 100% worth it. I like that. That was fun. Uh, just two seconds. Okay, just a quick work message. Had to reply real quick. Oh, yeah. Flawless now. Can't read that. Okay, so now we have a purple and a yellow dot. I'm going to guess that's what that means. It's item and map completion. I I can't select it. I don't know what it means, but I'm going to guess that's it. So, okay. So in some of these areas, I have the map done. In some of these areas, I have the items done. Okay, that's cool. That's totally cool. I'll take that. Is this a save point? Not a save point. It is a... Dumpster load of breach. Oh, okay. That's what that did. No health, lame. 
Come on. Oh, I could have just thrown the drone. I don't know why I didn't just do that. Axiom 1. A. All algorithms are universal and valid, regardless of whether they are executed. B. Cognition is a sub-algorithm whose behavior is to perceive properties of the parent algorithm describing them. C. Any algorithm giving rise to cognitive entities will be perceived as reality by the entities described. Okay. This axiom, it's from my paper. The one that earned me that nickname. So, basically, everything is real, whether it's observed or not. Kind of a deal. Okay, nope. Save point. Save point. Save point. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how low on health I was. <laughs> Please, oh, that's the breach. I think I'm screwed. Okay, nope. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna take a quick detour. Because I think there's a save point right here, isn't there? Yeah, there totally is. Okay. So, that those little markers, I'm assuming purple is map completion, yellow is item completion, is a really good sign because what that really tells me is I don't have to fart around a ton to get any more items. We already have everything. Or we have all the map whatever. There's not going to be a ton of hidden rooms that I've got to figure out. Or at least there's not a lot of territory I have to rediscover, I guess, is kind of the thing. Alright, willing to try that again. Dang it! <laughs> Bring it! Nothing here, okay. Did I just see something? It looked like... Huh. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me, but it really looked for a second like one of the creatures moved into the wall and then out of the wall. Oh, it's a hard surface legitimate. Okay. Yep, there we go. Cool. I guess. Hey, alright. I was like, I don't know what this is gonna buy me, but... Hey! The translation. To better understand the Rusulki, we made this command. Reveal... Vikya? I probably butchered that terribly, and I apologize to anyone who saw that happen. Vikya. I'm gonna guess that's it. So let me get notepad out, because I'm not going to be able to remember. V-Y-K-H-Y-A. Okay. This is cool. This might open up some real stuff. V... Y... K... H... Y... A... That opens up everything. Okay, so now these have been written in Rasulki, and I can understand them all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it. I wouldn't mind us to get to, like, either a save cocoon or something, or a save point, before I delve too much into lore. I'd like us to be in a safe spot, if we can manage. 
Oh, come on. I know I can make that. It's not that difficult. Close. Keep me away from those things. Those things hurt like fire. There we go. Oh, craps. I meant to grapple. That works, though. Uh... There is no plan. I was gonna say, like, what's the plan, little man? Dude just disappears into the sunset. And there's nothing else over there either. Ow, 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 what the hell? Why do you hurt so much? You're literally a fat caterpillar. Why do you sting so bad? Now there's a freaking. There's one up top that's balancing on nothing. Something, something screwy about this room. Right, right about how to, okay, right where I'm warping to, it looked like there was a caterpillar jerk that was just floating on nothing. Yeah, you're on the wall. Or you're on the ceiling, now you're on the wall. Wall, floor, wall, floor. Okay. I think I'm done with all of whatever that is. Okay. I don't think I can actually do anything about that. Nope. Uh, I also need Trace to be up there because this is clearly a shift thing. A teleportation thing. Okay, save point. Nice. Let's tap into some of the lore. I'm anxious to hear what all this is about. Uh, reply. I wish these were in, like, some sort of order. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Reply, the outsider. You simply must stop tenting me with such delectable musings. It is with great restraint that I say, respect the, your original decision. She may be playing Puppet Master, but for now, we need her. But once we've got what we came for, let her be mine? Please? Uh, I think we already did this one. Yeah. Athetos has disabled our drones. This one is operating on battery power. My own blood is failing me. If you want to go forward with Ophelia's plan, now is the time. I say why not. We may die regardless, but this way is a bit more... interesting. These are some... these Sudren are some sort of god... or the Rasulki seem to be some sort of gods of some sort. It calls itself Zader. I don't know how I know this, but I do... oh yeah, we've already read this one. Yep. Sound is painful. Everything's painful. I realize I failed in our primary objective, but please, just hear me out. I didn't just kill Katrahashka's body. I used the Gatebreaker. We have a fresh set of nano gates to do with whatever we please. Given what we recently learned about the Sudran Rebirth Chamber, we could use this to our advantage. In fact, it might be better than my original plan. We could control him. I don't know if they mean Athatos or me as Trace, Trace Delta or whatever. Um, yeah, we already did that one. Yep, did that one. Yep, did that one. I wanna make sure we're getting all of them. We did the security notice. We did the public notice. Uh, no, we've done this one too. My lovely. I have a new dream for you. I think you will like this one. It starts with your death and goes on from there. Return to my embrace. I've missed killing you. Wow. A bit much. Uh, yep, we've already read that one. Katrahashka got to him before I had a chance. He is here, and he released some kind of plague. I tried to stop him, but failed. He thinks I'm dead. He's holed up at the breach attractor now. We can't let him escape. Okay. 
Yep, already read that one. Okay. So, we didn't really learn, like, a ton of lore lore. Otherwise, power struggle, poison, all kinds of jiggery nonsense going on. I think, honestly, we need to understand a bit more about what's going on before, like, are we the good guy? Are we the bad guy? Are we truly, you know, what's going on and whatever, but let's take a break here. Thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. Another episode of Axiom Verge is in the books. My mind is absolutely reeling. I need some time to digest it, so thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.